Hello, my name is Renat Hasanov. I am a registered investment advisor by uh, Russian Central Bank, and I am also the owner of FT Invest website. And we begin our weekly analytics uh, about Russian stock market, American stock market, commodities, and many other things. Uh, let's begin with our Russian portfolio, which we call index FT Invest.ro. It is down more than 3% per week, but we still have pretty good results um, year to date. So you can see we made more than 95%. Uh, if you count uh, around 1st of January. The market was down, whole Russian market was down, and our results are not very bad. Uh, we sell about uh, half of our portfolio uh, in the beginning of the week. Uh, and also we returned uh, stocks, but not all, and some different. We also bought uh, during Thursday. Um, and I think I think our portfolio in, in pretty good shape. Uh, there is one big problem um, of Russian market which uh, was actual during the past two weeks is the fall of uh, stocks with low liquidity. I have one stock uh, of such and I don't have any plan to sell it. Uh, it's a very deep valued stock, which I think will grow maybe three times, maybe four times, and maybe in this case too, I will not sell. I expect a big dividend here. So uh, our result was was caused by that too, by the fall of that stock too. But I, I think um, it may grow again too. I don't know for sure, but this is our strategy. Uh, we are buy and hold in some stocks and uh, we sell um, using technical analysis in other, no? Um, mostly, mostly it's a technical analysis by the strategy, but, but uh, uh, we only use uh, undervalued stocks here in Russia or in USA, which where you can see that our portfolio is down uh, one point five percent per week, but we still still good. Uh, we still have a pretty good result yet to date. If you count from the beginning of the year, we made about eighteen percent yields. It's much better than S&P 500 uh, and uh, during this week we also sold some stock. Um, our decline was not so sharp that have um, all the indices, uh, for example S&P. Uh, and I think uh, um, the future of uh, American market is not very clear. We bought some stock on Friday, uh, but maybe it was a mistake. Uh, I'll give you my explanation a little bit later. So let's look at the Moscow Exchange Index. Uh, so technically very good that that support line, support blue line, uh, was not breaking down. Uh, market still 
in above position of this line and what I, do I hope? Why do I hope that uh, there will be uh, another um, green bear? Uh, above this blue line. If so, you know, probably uh, market will grow uh, and this will be a turn on uh, for the Russian market. But um, this may not happen. This may, may, may not happen. So the situation is very difficult here in Russia, but also in America. What you can see from the currency exchange market uh, that uh, Chinese uh, and American currency are turning on to Russian rubble. Uh, and the thing that um, maybe it's a flat uh, model, but maybe also uh, we will see the growth of Chinese and American currency against Russian rubble, which is not uh, good and not bad. This is, I think, this is even this is market uh, market related movement. Russian bond market is still in the very bad shape. Mm. I saw early in this week uh, um, a bull model here, so you can see, but there is no growth at all. Still, the uh, support line is not breaking here, but um, it could be possible in the next week. Um, so we can see um, will it go will uh, Russian bonds go down further? And with this also will mean um, that um, the percent uh, the yield uh, in Russia will grow further. It's now about 13% per year. Um, how deeply it will go down i hope uh, not so not so so let's go to international markets um, here the oil is growing up uh, um, as you can hear russian government prohibited uh, export of oil related products not oil, but uh, uh, distillates, uh, diesel, maybe all other products, fuel products, uh, because uh, there is a lack of uh, such uh, things in Russian markets. Um, the price of fuel is now going down here in Russia, but what's gonna do? Um, in all the market it's very hard to imagine but i think um, oil will grow further with uh, the deficit of energy by itself mm, maybe to my international i don't know if any uh, customers uh, maybe listeners uh, i will say that uh, the company Gazprom supplied a lot of gas to Europe. Now it's its production about one third down. So what's happening next? Um, yes, Germany um, did not produce any more. Uh, some products, some products uh, related with uh, energy consumption. But uh, it also have an effect uh, to the fuel market. Somebody may replace gas with uh, gasoline. So maybe this is the cause of the deficit of uh, Few products in the international market, but also the one is the mining of Bitcoin. 
so you can see this technical image uh, i see there a support line for bitcoin for, for this cryptocurrency and i hope it will grow from this point from this point it looks like a very supportive picture here and here so maybe maybe cryptocurrency will grow from this point and uh, it will also have an impact on other market uh, such as not a gold one but uh, the gold one uh, have a bear model too uh, so i see that uh, yellow metal will grow further so the biggest problem the biggest challenge uh, for them for the whole international market is the grow of a dollar as you can see the dollar index and you can watch my previous video and you will see that all the model which i saw to you are working very good um but it's caused by a uh, growing yield of american bonds it's as you can see um, about um, 404 percent uh, per year you can make uh, without any risk uh, this amount by just purchasing these bonds uh, in usa and you can make nearly five percent but not uh, not yet five but it could also be uh, there the bond are falling in the us and this impacts uh, what is happening in the markets in the stock market so you can see that s p is down uh, down 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 uh, much much higher than our our portfolio uh, there was a hope that um, technical good technical model um, bull technical model will form during the friday this is nasdaq and also um, in a broad um, amount of stock uh, which calls mega stocks such as apple nasdaq uh, apple amazon microsoft and other but during last house uh, of trading in friday this model was broken so unfortunately uh, our purchase of the stock probably was a mistake so we can uh, sell some stock uh, some stocks is america in america in monday if we will not that this mean uh, that uh, american market is uh, turning on to the growth so let's finish as i can say um, russian market is is in a better shape than an american one but still there's a lot of uncertainty but american market is in a very bad shape and uh, probably it is further it will fall further so you can see there is no support on s p 500 thank you very much